Okay, quick demonstration of how to display XY data, and this is specific to the emergency response lab. So I went to the instructions and just copied the two coordinate values into an Excel spreadsheet. I did leave room to include a header, um, that's kind of important. So it's just, I think, good to note that the in our case for UTM Zone 12 and for this data, um, the seven digit number, uh, the one that's four and a half million meters, that's your northing. And you can either type northing in there or you can just put an N or something like that. The six digit number, the 400,000, is your easting. Um, I would go ahead and, and save this as if you're running 10.6, an SLX, SLSX file, you know what I mean, um, is fine. And if you don't, um, Sometimes it's easier to just go ahead and save it as a tab delimited text file, um, but I'll just keep it as a workbook. Um, that's fine. If it doesn't work, sometimes if you get errors saying it won't connect to the database, you can back save. Um, Esri does have um, a software fix that you can do to make sure your Excel is communicating with um, ARC. But that ought to do the trick. Uh, who knows where I saved that too. Let's just make sure I know where that is. Okay. Um, okay, on my desktop. So in ARC, then we want to go ahead and dis uh, add that data set. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we want to display XY data. What I usually do first is just take a look at it and make sure that I have real values in here. You never know. Every once in a while, things will get messed up. Um, your properties for your uh, Excel fields might be string or something like that, and ARC can't make sense of it. So it looks like I've got some good values in here. I know my coordinate system is supposed to be North American datum of 1983, UTM zone 12, so I can go ahead and display XY data. Now, I don't have a data frame coordinate system set yet. Um, if we go into layers, it should say undefined at this point or no coordinate system. That's okay. Uh, we just want to be careful, I think, and just be aware of that. So display XY data. Um, let's see, our Y field, we want to be the northing. And our X field is the easting. And we can't leave this. We need to make sure we put our coordinate system in. North American datum 1983, UTM zone 12. Um, you can look for that in the projected coordinate systems under UTM, uh, North American datum of 1983, and then down to 12. Uh, and if you're using this a lot, just go ahead and add it to your favorites like I did. Okay, that looks good. We don't have an index, that's fine. Now, we have no idea if this is correct, so we can add a base map. That's usually the easiest way to test it. Put something relatively simple in there and hopefully it'll draw before tomorrow. Okay, it finally drew. Um, you do have to be aware that you might be zoomed in so far that it can't display the base map, so just zoom out a little bit if, that, um, if it doesn't draw for you. Okay, so this looks like that worked okay. Um, it always does when someone's trying to show you how to do it. When you do it yourself, it just doesn't so much. Um, once you get this displayed correctly, you want to make sure you make this a real data set. Right now it's called an event, which means it's a sketch. And you can do that by um, using the data, export data. It's kind of a shortcut. You want to export all features, which is basically the one point, and then just make sure you're saving it someplace legitimate. Uh, the coordinate system you can borrow. You can use uh, UTM Zone 12, or you could borrow it from the data frame. In this case, um, we've got a good coordinate system, so go ahead and leave it with the source data. And that's that. I would say yes, and then I always just go ahead and, and remove that stuff so that you've got real data displayed on a base map and should be good to go. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.